I just... Wait, Pete? No, Pete! No, Pete! Easy, Pete! He's dead! The last thing he said to me was... It was... Yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Pete! 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 Oh, Pete. Oh, Pete. Pete, come with me. We're going. We'll give you one last view of the city. I'll take you to... We'll bury you somewhere. This is Juno with Game Trip, and you all voted on which Fallout game I should play, because the new show's out and I'm gonna watch it, so I thought why not play a Fallout game too. And we'll do our usual thing, where we're trying to like philosophically analyze not only the plot, but maybe some of the concepts, or concepts, concepts of human extinction, and um, radiation, and decay, and apocalypse in general we'll find things to talk about that have to do with this subject because there is a lot of interesting things to talk about you know uh the nuclear problem all sorts of things so it's going to be a long series these episodes are likely going to be about an hour long each just because of how long this game is um but we're going to try and make it through it because this is a blind play for me i've never played fallout new vegas i don't know the plot or anything about it but i've heard it's kind of a masterpiece so I'm really excited to see this game. Normally with Bethesda games, I mod them quite a bit. This time, however, I've only applied a few mods for just, you know, fixing a few glitches, instability, you know, loading times and stuff like that. Um, and some quality of life enhancements. But I've done nothing to change the, the game at all. So while this will be a really smooth experience, you're still getting the Fallout New Vegas you know and love. So let's get started. Fallout has fabulous intros. I'm really excited for this. Taking sort of this, like, cavalier attitude towards this horrible situation that the world is in is kind of a staple of these intro cinematics as well. You know, the light music contrasted with all the horror you basically see. Nice. He must be using vats. Oh! Oh no! That got on my face. That That's gonna... It's gonna stain. So we have an assassin here, it looks like. Likely one of the factions. So it was that wasn't me that got shot. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. Trying to take all this in. With tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world. No way. Great walls spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent the Hoover Dam to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. 
a vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's legion. Whoa. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the legion's onslaught. Yeah, they want that water. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn. Training drums beat. Well, I'm sure there's no real good guy in this situation, I guarantee you. Open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. Police robots. <laughs> Hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn. So I was just a courier, and I, I got killed. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Oh, that doesn't look good. I do not like these guys. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. <laughs> dig. I love that. <laughs> you dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. That's about right. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that 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 was a good intro. That was a good intro. Game was rigged from the start. That just makes you like your it makes your brain start twisting already. I'm really excited. This is done by Obsidian Entertainment, which is not Bethesda. For those of you who aren't familiar with this game, Bethesda usually does all of the Elder Scrolls and Fallout series and now Starfield. Um, but this one was passed on to a third-party company, Obsidian Entertainment. How about that? Oh, well, let's listen to this dude. Super Stim Packs? Oh, easy there. Easy. Okay, this might be some of the DLC I'm getting. I don't know. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Oh, I gotta make a character. Okay, guys, um... Well, let's think of a name. A name without a backstory. I'm going to have to think of a backstory. I'll probably uh, cut and make the character, but let's see. What's the name going to be? Yundalo. Cowboy Pants. Yeah, well, Pants is capitalized. Yundalo Cowboy Pants. That is his name. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. Hey. Uh, like that's a name. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Okay. Well, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to make my character real quick. Okay, folks, so I've created this character. This is Yondalo Cowboy Pants, and I made a little backstory for him. I don't know if that's going to play out with the plot, but he was actually frozen like a vault person, but he's not a vault person. He was just, he's actually a cowboy from olden times that got stuck in a freezer and then was taken out of the freezer after the apocalypse. So he's not of the time at all. He's just, he's completely beyond time. And, uh, and he became a delivery guy because, you know, he, he's, he's a cowboy. That he, He's good at shooting pistols, which is probably will do pistol stuff with him. And um, I, I think one particular feature I want is that he will not be wearing a shirt. He is Yondalo cowboy pants, not Yondalo cowboy shirt. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Should probably turn the subtitles on. So that you guys can see what's being said. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Or maybe not. Maybe I can just up the voices even more. Oh gosh, there's already... I 
In Bethesda games, it's give me your finance. Give me your finances. That chemistry set? Oh, I can't do anything with it. Your paperweights? Ha! Hold your papers down now. Oh God. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. A vigor tester. Oh, this thing's cool. Okay, what do we got? Strength. Strength. Strength will tell you how easily Cowboy totes, <laughs> Cowboy Pants totes his saddle for those bigger firearms. Well, okay, so uh, Yondolo Cowboy Pants does like to to brawl, but I don't think he's beach bully. I think barrel chested will do, will do. Yeah, barrel chested, definitely. I like this. Oh, this is nice. I like these little titles. It helps you pick. Yeah. No, how do I? Yes, that's, how do I select? Okay, here we go, here we go. It's giving me like PC controls or something. Okay, perception, a perceptive cowboy. Oh, this is all, it's calling me a cowboy, this is perfect. A perceptive cowboy always knows when there's a lit stick of dynamite nearby or when a varmint's sneaking up on him. Um, well... I don't know if I'd call Cowboy Pants an alert coyote. An unsuspecting trout? He might be a wary trout. So. Okay, endurance. You can't keep a good cowboy down, not if he's the Endurin tap. And not if he's got a six shooter the size of all tarnation. <laughs> endurance. Oh, he's hardy. Is he tough as nails? You bet he's tough as nails. Wait, what are the other options? Flame retardant? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> You'll find there are some smooth-talking cowboys out there that got themselves voice that sounds kind of like an angel's harmonica. Um, no, that's not... That's not Yondolo Cowboy Pants. He's more of an old... I don't even know if he's an old hermit. Oh, this is going to severely limit my options. In in conversation. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, what do I do? This is a story game. I gotta be taking the cool... Okay, you know what? We're upgrading Yondolo. He's also a diplomat. It just happens to be really good at bringing together different factions in ye olden times. We'll just throw that in there. Intelligence. But he is a sub-brick. No, Knucklehead. Probably just a knucklehead. Agility. When a fella's got a gun, when a fella's in a gunfight, he shoots the other guy six times before they can get a shot off. It's because that fella's agile. Let's see. Um. Ooh, cat-like. I don't know. He does like to shoot the fist, the pistols, but I think he's been known for. He's kind of an oaf. <laughs> <laughs> and luck. Some folks claim not to believe in luck, but when they lose in a duel, you'll hear them say, That lucky son of a gun! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Leondolo's definitely got a leprechaun's foot. I mean, he was in a freezer. He survived the apocalypse. I don't, I don't think... Yeah, this is great. This is perfect. Yeah, I got a good build here, I think. With luck like yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back into the gun. Well, that's nice of you to say. I like your pants. You seem to have integrated your pants into your shirt. What do you say you take a seat in my couch? Oh yeah, let's turn on the subtitles real quick. No, it's, it's always in display in these games. Huh, it says they're on. General sub. Oh, because I'm not directly talking to him. I see. Can we go through a couple of questions? See if you okay. Still I'll sit on the couch. Whoa, I'm just in my indies. Just in my undies. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Who is this guy, Freud? Wait. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, newspaper. Uh, house, uh, target. Night, Night uh, dream. Bandit. Bandit, um, Swiss cheese. <laughs> Light beam. Mother. Mother. Wait, what are my options? Uh, mother. Uh, mother. Tantrum. Oh, what does that say about me? I got a few statements. I want you to how much they sound like something you'd say. 
First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Oh, okay. Well, this is this is this is uh Yondolo cowboy pants. Conflict is definitely in his nature. He's he's driven by conflict. I'm given to relying on others for support. Well, that's certainly true of him. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Well, let's see. Does the center of attention? No, that's how he got stuck in the freezer. He wasn't. No one was looking for him. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No, he. Okay, look. After going from cowboy times to 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 the to the future apocalypse, uh, no, I think I think he can. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Definitely. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Oh, that's interesting. This what is he, Freud? <laughs> Let's see. What do I see? Hmm. There's a sort of vase container in the center, I suppose, but when I when I refocus, I almost think of an insect. An angry two-headed ant. An oozing wound, definitely not. A shadow in a door frame. Can't even see that at all. A chemical reaction. A broken chain. No, I think the angry two-headed ant is what I see. Okay. How about this one? Now this one looks very much to me like a leaf. Definitely looks like a leaf. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. <laughs> well, since there's not a leaf, I'm gonna go with that one. Last one. Oh, this looks like two like silly guys giving each other high fives. A head on a pillow. A mushroom cloud. A bearded man. Well, I'm gonna go, I guess, with the bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. I am already having a blast with this. Okay, energy weapons, melee weapons. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely this guy. Science. Is he a science guy? Well, you know what? That's I, I feel like I should take I took the test. I'm taking it. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I mean, you don't know. Okay, family history. Okay. Oh, yes, traits. This is awesome. Oh, I I'm having so much fun with this. I, I love making a character. Okay, the flamer. Okay, claustrophobia. You have a fear of enclosed spaces. Suffer indoors. Okay, early bird, fast shot. Well, he's a Butterfingers, but he's a fast Butterfingers. But they're less... A well, since I'm only going to be using pistols with this guy usually, I don't think fast shot would be a good idea. Hot-blooded? Oh, yeah, you better believe he's hot-blooded. And... Yes, Wild Wasteland? Let's do it. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but we're doing it. All right. I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. Yeah. Can I have some pants, please? You know what? We got to fix this. Oh, I can't even open my inventory. I guess I don't have the Pip Boy yet. I'm taking his pencil. Stab him with it. What's he got? Hey, Radex. <laughs> you know you gotta you gotta stock up for the apocalypse. Is that a hat? Hell yeah. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. Yes. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't oh, he's a vault boy. You might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. I like this guy. He's cool. On too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Uh. 
Thanks for patching me up, Doc. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. Oh, I'm so down to go to a saloon. The other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Okay, so this guy's my healer. Heart. Wait, what? New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Rataway removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight. And dehydration is a constant... Ah. Uh... Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. Can I fast travel still? Because for the sake of the let's play, it fast travel's a necessity. Otherwise, because I'll be playing this all freaking day. Yes, I'm doing it. We're doing hardcore mode. Here we go. Okay, so let's first off, let's put on some clothes. Items, here we go. We got a binoc I got so much crap. Okay, binoculars, broad machete, laser pistol, mercenaries, grenade rifle. Oh, this is a lot of stuff to start with. Throwing spears. Yeah, let's start with... This must be part of a mod or something. I don't know. Oh, uh, yep. I have a... How do I... How do I throw the spear, though? I I don't know. Okay, let's not... L let's not, maybe... Maybe just start with the pistol. Oh, you know what? He has to wear shirts because the armors in this game are all of a piece, I believe. Tribal rating armor, lightweight metal armor... Lightweight leather armor. L a leather? Well, maybe we'll do some some rating. Maybe some leather. Oh, yeah. I like this. Here we go. Now, if only I could pull my gun out. Maybe I just need to go outside. Yeah, anyway. Ob Obsidian Entertainment worked on this game, and they did some really cool titles like Pillars of Eternity and... Um, Knights of the Old Republic, and I think they did some Neverwinter Night games, so they're really good storytellers, writers, with a lot of experience in crafting an interesting world out of, like, basically nothing, so. Oh, yeah, look at that. Got my gun. Okay. Okay. So, dehydration is a concern, so I'm going to have to make sure I keep drinking water, and I guess it's telling me to go over here. Though I am tempted to just, what? Hey, 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 what are you doing here? Hey, I see you. I'm watching you. Pull down. Is this the saloon? No, it must be over here. Oh, I see. I love the neon signs. The, the, it, I don't know, it adds a lot of flavor to the world. Hey, hey how, how are you doing? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Oh, I don't know. Why are you called Easy Pete? Decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. You know, it's, I always wondered about the Brahmin because they, they call them Brahmin, which is a. It's not spelled in, uh, the same, I think, but it's a Hindu term for, uh, you know, basically existence. Oh my god, there's so much. Okay. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Okay, I'm gonna remember that. Can't be trusted. Okay, uh, bye. Yep, yep. If I if I exhaust every dialogue option in this game, I'm gonna be playing it for an eternity. So, you know, I am gonna take some liberties. Plus, I gotta keep drinking water and spend all day talking to people. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh, I thought she was saying her name was Cheyenne. Stay. Okay, that's fine. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Do I have to do this? You shoot things. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay, let's go. You know what? 
Ooh, oh, okay, I can't steal. Wait, is that a magazine? Well, hell, I'm stealing the magazine. So? So I got a magazine. Check this out. I think, uh, let's see, miscellaneous. Where is it? No, oh, I just stole it. Fixing things. Here it is. Uh, I don't know. I think you get points from the magazines. I've been playing Fallout 4 recently, um, and I have it all modded up. I've never played Fallout 4, but I'm really enjoying the the survival mode with the fast travel turned off um, and various enhancements and stuff like that. It's been it's it's honestly fun. I always do this with Bethesda games. I told some of you. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh, please. Yes. Give me a gun. You know what? Oh, okay. I got the gun. You ready? You ready for some sharp shooting? Eh. Dang it. <laughs> That's the right idea. Look down the side. Try crouching down and staying. Well, that's the right idea. <laughs> I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Yeah. I think I've learned enough. Hope this helps you some. <laughs> Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Oh, I certainly don't want her to be cross with you, madam. Okay, so we need to go see Turdy over at the, uh, wherever the compass tells me to go. A lot of times, yeah, I'll, I'll mod, I, I wait like four years or so to play a Bethesda game. And I was telling some of you guys this the other day. <clears throat> wait, those bottles. We're not done yet. Not till every bottle's dead. Oh, this gun. Oh, did my gun jam? That's cool. Very nice. Um, and I, I usually play them all modded up because, you know, I, I love Bethesda games, but they I always feel like they're just lacking a little depth, you know, and the the modding community, like they're they're gold. <clears throat> there there's triple A quality content you can download. Uh, to make your game just like way more fun. What the hell is your problem? Like even the mods I installed for this, it's just a simple. It was like twenty or thirty graphical fixes and bug fixes and stuff. I had it downloaded in five minutes. You know, it's so easy these days. It used to be a nightmare to put together a modded game. Uh, wait, uh, Turdy, Turdy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument, well, maybe. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Ringo now? I mean, he's with Ringo in the All Stars. That's that's where he is now. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. Powder Gangers. Gang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Okay, so they're a bunch of bomb baddies. Some of them stuck together so they can make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. Okay, what happens if I help Ringo? Get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Well, I don't see why I shouldn't do that. Also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Screw the powder gangers, I think. What if I help the powder gangers? Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. 
Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Show me what you got for sale. Tom, can, can I just have some dirty water, please? I gotta stay. Yeah. Cool. Did, did, did I have any money? Do I have any money? I don't have enough money. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. I don't care about your radio. Where did those guys go? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept... Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Wow, she's got a lot to say. Okay, uh... I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, I want to shoot things. I want to shoot some guys. Yeah, shoot up the bar. The fun thing about these games, too, is that it, the, the, whatever you do, like, everyone just ignores you. It doesn't matter. Like, look at me. I'm going in the girl's bathroom. I'm in the girl. I'm using the girl. I'm drinking from the girl's toilet. Ha 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 ha. And none of you can stop me. See, so you never be able to do you get away with that in real life. No way. All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to keep following this compass around um, just for progression's sake. But I do want to do a bit of exploring. I mean, there's a big world and I've never been to this one. I've played I've overplayed Skyrim. Um, but this world is, is going to be interesting, you know, and most of the other Elder Scrolls games, honestly. But Fallout, I've only played Fallout 3, and I, I haven't explored it very much. So, let's see. Let's see what the sign says. Is there a sign? Is there, like, a road sign? I mean, you know, the eagle's path is generally the shortest, but not always the safest. Let's see, let's, uh, is that some corn? Let me get this guy's corn. And the theme of nuclear apocalypse, it didn't, it didn't, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I never do. I kind of, I'm from the South and I kind of have a, if you guys ever catch me slip up, which I probably will with this character a bunch in this world. Um, you know, I do have a somewhat Southern accent that, that comes through. But at a certain point, I had to do a lot of reading for a job and it essentially went away and was replaced with this voice you, you hear now. You know, because when you're reading out loud, using the slang that you grew up with sometimes just doesn't work out and people don't understand you. So, where am I going? Open door to Victor Shack. Well, that seems like a, a wise decision to make. Let's see if Victor's got anything good. Oh, yeah, I'll take those energy cells. I have a feeling, even though it is hardcore mode, um, this isn't going to be as... Fission batteries sound like they're important. This isn't going to be as difficult as I would expect because Elder Scrolls tends to over give you items. You know, just millions of potions and healing or, I guess, and Nuka-Colas and stuff like that. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, and you can usually wangle most fights to go your way, even if you're not the right level for it. But yeah, the, the theme of nuclear Fallout didn't really appeal to me till I got into Fallout 3. A friend convinced me to play it. And, you know, Fallout, Fallout's so much more than that, too. It explores a lot of concepts, not just nuclear wasteland, but there's aliens and uh, the 1950s and various sci-fi stories that are referenced and built into the system. Uh, so it's a really unique, almost fantasy world itself, like like um, the Elder Scrolls is, and definitely worth playing. 
Wow. Okay. So I'm just where am I? Am I? Do I do I keep passing where I'm supposed to be? Okay. I must be. Am I just going to this gas station? Oh yeah. Sunset sarsaparilla, water, and health. That sounds nice. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? I'm not an enemy. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. Caravan? What are the rules? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes... The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So that... It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Here, take this holotape. Oh, man. A holotape? So, yeah, let's just play. I'm not that good of a player. Thank God. Okay. Race. What do I have? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to play. I didn't read the tutorial. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What the hell is going on here? Oh, I see. Am I supposed to, like, add up to more than him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I will read the rules th before the next time I play. No? Can't do a queen? How about a nine? Queen? Queen. Okay, okay. No, we'll do a three. No, it's... No. No. Okay, J Jack. What'd I do? I don't know what's going on. This is this is horrible. I should have paid attention. Well, I guess he just wanted to play with me. Doesn't mean I have to play well. Why does it go high? Joker. Yeah, get in there. Ha! And then a king. Well, there, we played. Are you happy? Are you happy you made me look stupid, Ringo? What is it? <laughs> Was that it? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Do you want us to gunfight them? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Hmm. Well, let's see. You need a hired gun. Caps, but you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. <laughs> It'll have to do. Share in the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. Oh, so you want? Okay, I need to go round up some folks. All right, let's round out the, the, the town. Get them all riled up. She's been friendlier than most around here. All right, good advice, guy. Watch out! Watch out! There's a bottle behind you. Almost got you. Doctor's bag. A box of detergent. You know we'll need that. You know, for when we're making drugs. 
Ooh, and take a little nap. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get the town all riled up. How do I run? Oh, wait, how did I do that? Oh, I see. Yeah, check this out. Third person. <laughs> I like it. Whee! Third person's kind of terrible, but this doesn't look so bad, actually. Let's, let's see how if we can make it work for a while. Is there no sprint? Or do I just move at this speed always? Sorry, sorry, I'm not trying to shoot the town up. I'm kind of glad they just drop you in, too. Okay, maybe not using that door is a good idea. What's this? Oh, we got workbenches and all sorts of things. I'll probably play around with it a bit after I stop just figuring out the different systems so that we can just get into the game and, and start enjoying it. Okay, uh, Prospector. Here we go. Oh, I just need to go in the saloon. See, if you follow the... Get out of here. Get out of here. If you follow the compass, it, it can make you act like a fool. So maybe I should be more careful with that. <laughs> see, where is this Joker? Is he upstairs? Oh, wait. And we gotta drink that toilet water. The rads, the, I don't know. The, the radiation doesn't build up super fast. Is it this guy? No. Oh, it's, oh, it's you. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer. I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> well, that was easy. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. Well, hell yeah! Crazy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. Okay. Any okay. Her tongue would help. Ooh. It, Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Okay, let's see. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even Okay, I do need to barter. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Ooh, I don't know if I do. I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. So she's a scout. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Okay. No, no, no. I, I need to get out of this conversation. Is what needs to happen. All right. So let's go rile up the town some more. Hey. Okay. So let's see. This Joker here. Hey, friend. Remember me? Oh, he's the dynamite man. I do love explosives. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Ah. Uh, oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Yep. <laughs> he's like, yep, you shuck. Get on out of here. He's a... <laughs> nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Drugs. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Well, that's sad. I'm trying to see if he has anything, uh... Yeah, it looks like he's not going to give me the dynamite. Yep. <laughs> yep, get out of here, you dumbass. Can't use dynamite, blow yourself up. Do you even know which end to light, you idiot? 
<laughs> All right, so I'm giving up on Pete over there for now, unless I can learn how to blow things up better. Um, let's see. Let's let's try some of these other people in town. Someone like way over here. So I'm having a blast with this already. This game is... I love the dialogue-heavy stuff, the whole riling up a town. This is all very much fun. I see why people like this game already. I'm only It's only going to get better, I'm sure. And that's, a, that's an expectation I'm kind of happy to have. Where are you, Doc? Oh, what do we got here? Oh, oh, yeah, it's the Doc. Yeah, he's the guy who helped me. Doc, where, where is he? Taking a bath, Doc? There he is. That's Doc Mitchell. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Doc's in. Okay, who was it that rescued me? Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd. And I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Ah. Uh. Just a feeling. Maybe I was supposed to get buried, uh, unburied. You'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Okay, that's nice. That was good information, Doc. <clears throat> so far, the Doc's been the most useful guy in the game. He's He's been helping me out. So Doc's going to give me stim packs, and something I need to do is... I got a lot of items when the game started up, and I don't like starting off a Fallout game that way. I kind of like starting bare bones with just nothing... And using the stuff I find, you know, I don't want any handouts from the game. I'm, I'm, I'm yonder low cowboy pants. I shouldn't even have a shirt on. Okay, and that's no, that's where what's his name is. Wait, what about you? Hey, do you wanna? Is that Trudy? Is that Turdy over there? No, this is. That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? He sure does. Okay, let's see. General, ah, uh, the general store. Yeah, I, I need to barter anyway. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Ah, shittier bullets. Fabulous. Can do. Okay, so first off, I'll keep the 10 millimeter rounds, but... Like, seriously, why do I have 20 grenades? That doesn't make sense. I shouldn't have any grenades. I'll keep those rounds. I'm not a vault guy, so I'm giving the vault suit away, sadly. Even though I like it. The venom. I don't know why I have venom. I'll hold on to one... Two. Two bobby pins. I'm keeping my box of detergent because I found that. Machete makes sense. The clipboard. The doctor's bags. Well, I found those. Yeah, I'll sell my clipboards. Empty syringe. Energy cells. I did find those, I think. The fission batteries. The laser pistol. I don't know if that makes sense for me to start off with. Maybe. I'll keep that one, I suppose. I'm not keeping the metal armor. The maze. The medical clipboard. The grenade rifle. Why do I have a grenade rifle? Paperweight. Pencil. Straight razor. Nah, I'll keep it just in case I need to I need to shave. But I don't know. Shotgun, I shouldn't have that. The throwing spears, I don't know why I have those. <laughs> the canteen. Oh, I'll keep the canteen. Weapon repair kit. Okay, we'll keep that. And then the pistol. That's a really expensive pistol. Is it, like, strong or something? You know what? I'm giving that away, too. Because you know what? Yeah, I should just have my my one gun. 
right? Okay, well now I have a lot of caps. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Ooh. Look, you're bringing this on. Yeah. Okay. So he's not in. And I still got my one gun. I, I like this better, though. I like starting a little more bare bones. Give me that real fallout experience. Okay, there's the gas station guy. And then Trudy, who's probably just at the bar. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Really? All the more reason. Ah. Ah. No. Sure, the outside looks okay, but there'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the Okay, maybe if I fix her radio. Okay, let's fix that radio up. Where is it? Okay, I can't even fix the radio. Freaking! Can't even fix the radio. What about you, dude? Too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Huh. I'm not gonna have help, am I? You know what? Maybe if I... Okay, I'm pretty good at these passwords. Okay. There we go. Disengage lock? To what? Wait, what was the lock to? Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. A revolver. No, that's bad. I can't steal from the townspeople. That's terrible. That's terrible. I can't <laughs> I want to. Okay. I wanted to so bad. I wanted to take their stuff. All right. Well, um, I think that's all the people I can convince. No one seems to like me very much, and I do not appear to have the capacity to solve anyone's problems. Eh, come on, dude. You ready? You ready for this? Wait, can I just go in through the garage? No, he's got his truck parked there. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. <laughs> Unless you think there's something else you can do. Nope. Let's do this. It's just us. I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. At least six. Oh, just six? Yeah, we got this. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the game. Okay, let's see. Got any ammo? I don't have any grenades. I just gave away all my stuff. I really I don't even have that many bullets. But I got enough bullets for six dudes. Even with some help. How are you guys running? Oh, okay, you, you go a lot faster when you have your weapon put away. Howdy. Ah! That 
Oh, jeez! Ah, uh, take cover! I'm not good at shooters, guys. Stop moving! Ah, there we go. Oh, this isn't going good. Damn. Come on. Die. Is that that's one of them, isn't it? Oh, I'm out of bullets. Uh, let's see. What do I do? I have anything else? Okay, let's use a stim pack, and oh, I got this machete. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Bring him on. I'll kill him. Wait, who's Joe Cobb? Did I kill Joe Cobb? Wait, I'm not close enough. Ah, there we go. I've been vilified by the power gingers and the people of Good Springs now like me. So that's nice. Some dynamite? Oh, yeah. Take a powder gang. Well, I'm not really a varmint rifle, though. I'll take the varmint rifle. And I leveled up. Let us do... Let's make us a little better with guns. Seems really important. Well, maybe we'll go up a little with guns and a little with speech, too. I feel like I need to have better speech. Ba oh, okay. Confirmed bachelor, maybe? In combat, you do 10% damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you sometimes have, have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Hmm. I could do that. You can put a single point to any of your special attributes. Special? Oh, special. Oh, yeah, that's probably important. Huh. Lady killer... Swift Learner. Oh, hell yeah. Swift Learner sounds nice. I like that. But intense training. You know what? That just seems too good to pass up. Which one needs a boost? Agility. There we go. I owe you a huge favor for this. I expected that to be more dramatic. <laughs> I know they'll understand once I explain things. I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan. Yeah, you said you were going to pay me. I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though. So look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Will do, buddy. Ha 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 ha! Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, you know what? I think that does it for the first episode. This is a huge game, and it's going to be a long time um, while we play this, you know. But I love I love going through these big sandboxy style games. So I'll see you next time on Game Trip. And next time we'll probably have more of a theme prepared. Uh, and I'll know more of the systems. So I'll see you next time. Oh, look at that cross in the distance. Actually, you know what? Before we call it, let's go see if we can get a view going of the of the city here or of anything it's maybe oh is that just wait pete no pete no pete easy pete he's dead the last thing he said to me was it was yeah yep yeah. That's what he said. Pete.
Pete. Pete. Pete. Oh, Pete. Oh, Pete. Pete, come with me. We're going. We'll give you one last view of the city. I'll th take you to... We'll bury you somewhere. Oh, guys, it's Pete. It's Pete. He's... Oh, no, I dropped him. There we go. We got him. We got him. Uh, this is terrible. This is an atrocity. Why did Pete have to die? Oh, it was dynamite. It would just, we just, if only we had your dynamite, Pete. Pete. If only, we, you know what, Pete? I'm done. Bye, Pete. See you next time on Game Trip. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,